So, why do you have an event, a back-to-back -back 90, uh, offset, 90 with a kick, or if you're having to come out the wall, having to use two LBs in the short, tight space area, or if you're coming out of the wall using the LB with a kick pipe because of the instruction, because of the tight space that you have, your answer will still always be perpendicular LB, and your offset LB. Why? Well, these byproducts of the LB are basically designed to utilize it for a short, tight offset or a short, tight back-to-back -back 90. Now, going back to the demo video, basically right here, what I was basically trying to demonstrate was how you'll be able to utilize more pipes coming out your wall with this perpendicular LB. Uh, basically, we have seven inches of vertical space and within this seven inches of vertical space we'll be turning horizontally we could fit five pipe runs as i just showed you five pipe runs sometimes you're going to need this space sometimes you're going to wish you had something like this because of the tight tight location the old way basically you will have a lb and then attached to the lb you have your factory 90. you come out and if you take the tape measure here you got about about seven and a half inches, right? Just to prove my point, you see I got about 13 and a half in the top of the board. So right here, you'll only be able to fit one pipe because of the factory United. That's the tightest you could go. Here in this other illustration, you have two kick pipes using this LB. Now, some will argue that you could probably use more pipes by turning this LB more. But however, usually we as electricians, we like to run our runs tight that way we're using less width. So the more you turn the LB, the more you're giving up on your width and you're opening up your run. So we usually don't run it like that. So this is usually the most you'll probably be able to turn the LB about 30 degrees. So right here, within seven inches of vertical dimensional space, all you have is two pipes that you could do rather than five. And just to prove my last point, this is the last pipe on the bottom. I could measure it from the top of the board, and you'll see that I have about a little over than 13 and a half, about 13 and a half. It's just that I just need to move it up a little bit, and it'll be 13 and a half, but basically about 13 and a half, which is basically the same 13 and a half that we have over there. Okay, again, so now let's just say the scenario that we're running a straight piece of pipe, and voila, we run into an obstruction. What do we do, mainly as a nutrition? One, we're either going to bend the offset, Right, rather we have having to de-elevate or elevate and continue on. Or if we're approaching another challenge, which is we're nearing our 360 degrees and bends, we're gonna have to mount a box here, come out with some bent pipe, which is also time and money. But instead of doing all of that, you're gonna always still wanna use the offset LB. Okay, so here we rather utilize the offset LB because so one shot deal, have, rather than having them on the box, come out with bend pipe or bend your offset all the time, boom, right here you'll be able to go very rapidly, increase your production, and saving time, money, and space, of course. Now, we gotta talk about the negatives, right? There's always positives and always negatives. Now, yeah, many may ask, well, you only limit it to two and a half inches for this offset, or for a back-to-back -back 90 right here, right? Two and a half inches, basically, um, is my limitation, yes. So what are we gonna do if we happen to go even lesser, or what are we gonna do if we happen to go four inches, five inches, six inches? Well, the solution to your problem lies in the very next video. Remember, make America great again today. God bless.